I feel like a broken record, but I'm going to ask the question again and think about how you answer. How mad are you at these politicians for what they've done to us with the coronavirus lockdowns? I'm going to play you this little clip. I want you to just breathe it in, and while you're enjoying it, ask yourself, how mad are you? L.A. County Supervisor Sheila Kuehl, we got several tips from sources within the restaurant industry about this, and they were less than pleased, citing more of that elected official hypocrisy, a little bit of do as I say, not as I do. So let's rewind the clock. You'll remember last Tuesday, L.A. County Supervisor Sheila Kuehl voted to ban outdoor dining at all 31,000 restaurants here in L.A. County, and uh, she cited the surge in COVID-19 cases as a reason, saying it was too dangerous. She cited the fact that patrons often eat without any masks on, and we'll talk to their servers. She expressed concerns that COVID would spread to those servers and called it, quote, a most dangerous situation. And while it's a tough decision, you got to shut it down. Again, she voted to shut down dining, outdoor dining here in L.A. County. Well, we've learned that just hours after she made those comments and hours after she made that vote, she came right here behind me to Il Forno in Santa Monica. It's a restaurant she describes as one of her favorite, and she ate outdoors here. We did get a statement from her staff tonight. We want to pull that up right now. It reads in part, quote, um, she did dine at El Fre she did di she did dine al fresco at Il Forno on the very last day it was permissible. She loves Il Forno, has been saddened to see it, like so many restaurants, suffer from a decline in revenue. She ate there, taking appropriate precautions, and sadly will not dine there again until our public health orders permit. Are you mad? Are you really mad? How mad are you? They're doing it time and time again. I can't even count how many have been caught now. She's just the latest. I'm not even picking on this particular woman. Gets out there, casts a vote. 31,000 restaurants. You, shut down. Goes and gets in her Subaru Outback, I'm sure. Drives across town and eats outside. Are you actually mad? I'm going to say something. And you want to talk about making you uncomfortable? Oh, I'm about to make you uncomfortable. You do understand. Thomas Jefferson talked about this all the time. You understand these people should be afraid of you, right? You shouldn't be living in fear of them and what they're going to do to you. They should live in fear of you. Should there be a protest in front of that woman's office as we speak? Maybe an effort to recall her? Is she afraid of losing her next election? Maybe she isn't afraid. She doesn't appear to be afraid to me. And if she's not afraid, then whose fault is it? If you have politicians time and time and time again treating you and I like witless suckers who will just lay down and take it and then run back to the polls and ask for more, if they're treating us like that time and time and time again, is it their fault? Or is it our fault? Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.